Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn and Code. Thank you so much for giving so much support to this channel. It is really motivating me to create more such useful content for all of you. So after receiving so many requests on creating a playlist on data structures and algorithm, I am finally starting this playlist for all of you. So it will be a very beginner friendly playlist. So if you want to get started with data structures and algorithm and C++, because I will be using C++ as the language, then this playlist is for you. And also, if you still have some doubt that what is data structures and algorithm and why should one learn about it, then you should definitely watch this video because I'm going to discuss about the importance of data structures and algorithm and why companies like Microsoft and Google give so much importance to data structures and algorithm in their interview process. So yeah, watch this video till the end. So what is DSA? DSA refers to data structures and algorithm. This term is made up of two components. The first one is data structure and the second one is algorithm. Let's decode this term in a bit simpler way. Let's go to component wise. The first component was data structure. So data structure is a way to store data in a particular format, in a structured way. Let's understand it by an example, a real life example. We all have used index pages in our notebooks, right? To fill information like topic, date, serial number, taking signature from our teachers, etc. Now that index page has some kind of tabular structure that helps us to store data in an organized way. So you can say that that index page is a kind of a data structure, right? Similarly, we use some defined templates known as data structure to store data in programming also. So that's about data structures. Now, what about algorithm? Algorithm is a set of instruction to solve a particular task. Let's take an example for this as well. Let's say you want to drink water. What will be the steps for it? The first step will be you will take a glass. The second will be you will fill it with water. And the third step would be then you will drink it. So now you can say that the process of drinking water involves three steps or three instructions here. Hence, it is the algorithm of drinking water because you have a set of instructions and algorithm is nothing but a set of instruction to solve a particular task. Same goes with computer. Algorithm is a way to solve any problem using the given set of instructions. So that is about what is DSA. Now, how we use it in software development. DSA is the building block of any software development. It's like the brick for creating a building. Similarly, we use DSA to create a software. So understanding DSA is the key to develop better understanding of programming or developing better softwares. Now, the third point that I want to add here is the efficiency of your software also depends upon the kind of data structures and algorithm you are using for developing that particular software. Now, why I'm saying like this, let's take the example that we had before. Let's take the example of water drinking algorithm. So now you have multiple ways to solve that particular task. Previously, we had three steps in the algorithm, but let's say you have a water bottle now. So now how will you complete that particular task? First step, you will open the water bottle and the second step, you will drink water from it. Now you can see that both these algorithms are solving the same problem, but the difference is in the way of storing data. In this case, the data is water and the data structure is like glass or water bottle. So the way you are storing data and the algorithm you are using should be compatible to each other so that you can get the most out of it so that you can create the best software in terms of time efficiency, cost efficiency, and other aspects. So the efficiency of your software development, I hope now you can understand that totally depends on the way you are storing your data and how you map it to the correct algorithm that can provide us with the right, reliable, and fast software. Now let's come to the next topic. Why should one learn about data structures and algorithm? Now we have two points here. The first is if you want to create your own software, then you should definitely learn about data structures and algorithm. So as I previously said, that data structure is like a bricks for you. If you want to create your software, it is like the building block for you. 
for software development. So definitely you should learn about data structures and algorithm if you want to solve or create some uh, great projects, software projects. And the second thing is, if you want to work with product-based companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, etc., then you should definitely learn about data structures and algorithm because these companies, these big MNCs, focus on CS fundamentals and DSA in their interview process. So if you want to crack their interview, then you should definitely focus on DSA and topics like time complexity and other uh, CS fundamental concepts. Now, I want to mention an important aspect here that why these companies focus so much on DSA. So that is because these companies are already developed and the main focus for these companies is to develop useful features in a most optimized way in terms of software efficiency and in terms of cost, in terms of resources like the deployment cost, the uh, software development cost, all these things. So that is why they focus on DSA and CS fundamentals so closely in their interview process because designing a good software comes first. If you have designed your whole system in a great way, then it's implementation or development, it's still a easy task. So that is why you should definitely learn about data structures and algorithm. And here at Learn Then Code, I will help you to get started with it. It will be a very beginner friendly playlist. So if you want to just get started with DSA, then this playlist will be for you. Also, I want you to introduce with a great platform by Newton School that will help you to get started with your career in IT. So Newton School is on a mission to create India, the developer powerhouse for the whole world. They are providing you great content, certification courses, trainings from people who are currently working at MNCs like Google and Microsoft and Amazon to help you to be job ready. These courses are very beginner friendly. And the most important thing is all these things at absolute zero cost. So you can get started with it. Definitely, I will add the link in my description and you can check this platform. You will get a lot of courses, certification, develop a community where you can help and learn together, instructors, hands-on experience and whatnot. So you should definitely check out this uh, platform. They have amazing courses on web development, on, on uh, data management, on Python and other technical stuff. Also, they provide live classes, assignments, real life projects, mentorship, and, and help you to get placed in great companies. So they have tied up with more than 700 companies. So they will definitely help you to get a job also. So what you're waiting for, you should definitely check out this platform to get courses, to get mentorship, to network with great people, to build community, to get expertise in particular technology, to get a job and all these things at absolute zero cost. So that's it for today's video. We have covered what is data structures and algorithm, why one should learn about it. And uh, I have introduced you with a great platform by Newton School. So just a note here, I'll be using C++ for this uh, particular data structures and algorithm playlist as I personally feel that C++ is very beginner friendly. And before starting with the core concept of DSA, I will make video also for people who are just starting with C++. So stay tuned and thank you so much for all the support. See you in the next video.